Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, where we are in the second level, which is Walk in the Park. We are halfway through the level, so I would recommend... Oh, don't fall. I would recommend going back and watching the previous video so that you can see the first part of this. And Ty is back! Ty is back! We did all of our explaining in the last episode, telling ourselves about the hopage, how there's like five minute delay. Five minute, or the five second delay, sorry, not five minute delay. Because like, I just grabbed the thunder egg, but for you, now I've only just grabbed the thunder egg. Five second delay. But that's fine. That's fine about the delay. We've already talked about the delay. If you want to hear everything about the delay and everything else, go watch the previous part. So this, uh, we've got we to gotta deal with this, this turkey, this turkey fool here who's running around. And the turkey's going to run away. I usually kill him with a superbite, but apparently the superbite missed in the last episode. So we do not have a superbite, so we've got to chase him down the old-fashioned way and, like, try and throw boomerangs at him, but he's been a bit of a dick about it. But that's okay, because we need to collect all the opals in this area first. Uh, just, just let me kill you, please. Can I, like, I can't do a super, uh, I can't even do, like, a miniature supercharge, because, oh, what a dick you are. What a dick you are. Well, there's opals this way. We'll come back to him. We still need to clear out the back cave up at the top of the water slide as well, so... We shouldn't be screwing around with the turkey just yet, because we got all the stuff to do, but... It'd be nice to kill the turkey now! Oh, you... Hiss. Which way is he going to go? Let's see if we can head him off. We can't jump through the shrubbery. Um... He's there. Go, 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 go! Bite him! He's going to go... Up this way, I think. Bite him! Oh, bite him, bite him. You can head him off, just keep just keep chasing. I think he has to stop for a breather. Yeah, okay, so we know he's gonna... Dick, you dick. We know that Spyro is gonna have to speed up here because the, that's just how the, the turkey wants to play. Oh, there we go, we got him. Okay, there we go. For a second I thought we'd have to speed up. Right, it's fine, we got the turkey. So now, let's not... Let's not this around with all of this area up here. We will just kill this frill lizard because we need to, and we will head back down this uh, this big slope. We'll pick up the opals along the way, and we will do the bat cave mission because we did actually need to speak to the big black man to start the mission. So somewhere around here, there should be some mushrooms. There they are, which will teleport us back to the top. So let's get high. Oh, dude. What the hell? How did I get to the top of the slide, man? Arid, I, I like, took some green mushrooms, and then I came back up here. I don't remember anything. Frogs bounce, man. I'm just gonna be like, 90 surfer, dude. Whoa, this is rad, dude. I'm a fucking surfer without a surfboard. I'm like, totally hardcore, man. And I'm going to start, I'm going to stop with the stoner voice. Well, yes, to get, to teleport back to the beginnings of levels and, you know, to teleport back for actual time trial levels once the, um, the main objective thunder egg has been collected, you do use the mushrooms. So, you get high by inhaling the mushroom spores and then, yeah, you somehow wind up back at the top. I mean, Ty, it's, it's, a, it's an okay idea, but I wouldn't, I myself wouldn't recommend that you, um, that you inhale mushroom spores. You know, what if they're cordyceps spores? If they're cordyceps spores, you'll end up looking like this. Not a good idea, man. So yeah, let's just talk to the big black guy and start this uh, this mission. So apparently we have to talk to him to start the mission, and while they're having their little talk about, I'm gonna take a drink of tea. G'day, Ranger King. I need a favor, mate. There's a flock of cave bats in there. Cave bats? It's nearly the wet season, and we need to move them out before the caves flood. No worries. Okay, so yeah, that's what we did in the previous episode, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We did actually come into this cave and hit the bats, but apparently the bats won't leave the cave until the black guy says that it's okay for the bats to leave the cave, so... Clearly they, they don't listen to they don't listen to the white guy anymore. It's like, we only listen, we only listen to, to Samuel Jackson... Samuel Jackson's like, 
Need to use our rescue here. Samuel L. Jackson's like, leave the fucking cave right now! And they're like, oh shit, well Samuel L. Jackson said it. So, I guess we gotta say it. We gotta leave. So yeah, now we're just chasing them out of the cave and this will grant us a third Thunder Egg. I think we're on our third one. Game info. Yes, we Oh no, we're on our fifth one because we already got the turkey and we already saved the bilbies. I forgot about that. So yeah, we're on our fifth Thunder Egg. We are definitely halfway done with this level and we should easily be able to do it in another 15 minutes. So, shoot them again. Uh, rescue up and shoot them that way. There you go. They're on their way out now. Yeah, don't know why that's... They had to. Well, I guess we do. We just we just alleviated why they want to leave the cave when they're told because they don't listen to to little orange marsupials. They only listen to big black Samuel Jackson saying, "Get the fuck out of this cave now! I've had it with you in this motherfucking cave." And they're like, "Oh shit! Well, if Samuel says it, then serious." Here's something for your troubles. Thank you, Samuel Jackson. Australian Samuel Jackson. Well, that's everything up in this area, so now we can head back down to where we fought that turkey, or chase down the turkey, and we can get the rest of the stuff in this level. Remember to go this way, because this is the way we didn't go before, and now we've got to take it now. Oh, got to take it nice and slow to make sure that we don't miss any of the, um, any of the opals as we slide down this slide, because we did miss a few. We're just going to speed up a little bit and then slow back down because there's one coming up here. We can speed up a little bit around this corner because I think I picked them all up around this corner. So, oh, okay, 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 we we just got that one. So, yeah, I'm, I am kind of in explaining just for a second because we do need to be careful because I don't want to have to slide now. I think I missed one round here. Take the bend nice and slow. Nope, we're okay for this bend. I'm pretty sure I missed one on a bend somewhere though. So is it this bend? Bend around the corner, take it nice and slow. Nope, not this bend. It is this bend, I remember. It's up in these twisty tunnels somewhere. Where is it? There it is, it's over there. Okay, I think that was the last one. We're good. We're good, so we'll just slow down, pick it up, speed up a little bit, just double oh no, there's one more here, just be careful. And now we can should we can speed to the end yes we can okay that's great all right there we go crisis over everything's done Ty, what did i just tell you about inhaling mushroom spores it's it's not good for your health man do, do you want to end up like the nameless queen do, do you want this you want mushroom growing out of your head no you don't so stop stop doing it stop trying to be a suicidal tiger i mean if you die who's going to find the talismans no one the, do you want the do you want the cassowary to win? No, you don't. So, don't inhale them. Main point, kids. Mushrooms are bad. You might be saying, "Dude, mushrooms get you high." Yeah, but what if it's the wrong mushroom? There is. Um, I watched the documentary on the BBC with David Attenborough. There is apparently a cordyceps species for every, or a cordyceps strain, I guess, because you know the species is cordyceps, whereas the. Um, actual strain changes from DNA to DNA. But, you know, David Amber and all those scientists did their research and they said that there is a cordyceps strain for every single species on the planet to make sure that no species gets stronger than any other to keep nature in balance. So that means there is a species for humans, so enjoy your night terrors. And you might be saying, no, that's not true because someone would have been infected. I mean, that is also partly true that someone should have been infected by now. But what if those, what if the human strain of cordyceps requires a very specific, you know, condition to grow, like the African or the Amazon rainforest, which we're in now. I know we're in Australia, but sure up, it's kind of like the same. It's still a rainforest. But what happens if the, um, if the human strain of cordyceps requires a very moist rainforest to grow? There's like no one that lives in the Amazon rainforest. There's a couple of natives, but it's not going to, it's not going to. Um, that's what I'm looking for. It's not going to spread, like, outside of the native village, really, is it? Because you'd have to be a fool to go into the Amazon rainforest. It's like, oh, hey, I'm a tourist going into the Amazon rainforest, and now I'm dead because there's a lot of poisonous plants, and there's a lot of snakes, and there's a lot of things that can kill you. So, yeah, you wouldn't go into the Amazon rainforest. So if the Cordyceps has infected, like, a human tribe that is a native and lives in there... 
then it's going to be restricted to them because only they live in there and you know there's not a lot of people that are going to go in there and that's only that's the only place where the human strain of the cordyceps will grow because it requires heat i mean it might not it might grow in like the antarctic maybe the human cordyceps requires an extreme amount of cold i don't know either way let's get our thunder egg well, either way there is a species of cordyceps for ev or there's a strain of cordyceps for every species in the world so Look forward to seeing The Last of Us becoming reality. And you know what, by the way, just before anybody says, did you just, like, draw a Last of Us pony? Motherfucker, no! I had Nameless Queen, or I drew her way before The Last of Us. I drew, I drew Nameless Queen when I saw that David Attenborough thing. Because I do watch a lot of nature documentaries. I do watch David Attenborough, and it's like, oh shit, that, there's, a, there's a mushroom which can turn people into zombies and the whole thing with the ants. I would play the, the clip of David Attenborough with the ants where like the mushroom bursts out of the ants head but I don't want to do that because then it'll be like this video has been flagged for copyright um, content ID match. So that's number 9 of 10 golden cogs we're one away and I think we're only like two thunder eggs away as well. Yes we've got to do the wombat race and truck truck ball. So there is um, a time trial here where does this take us? I've got to try and remember where this golden cog is. Uh, there's a plant down there. That's the bat cave. Uh, no, don't fall down. Okay, we'll fall down. Oh well, so, yeah, we just got to finish the, what time are we on? 11 minutes, yeah, we can do this now. So we've basically got two things left to do. We have a truck trouble to do which is the ending mission which will allow us access to the time trial and we have the wombat race which is the time trial to do and then we got to find one more golden cog which should be fairly easy because this level is pretty small we've found pretty much everything um where is it i think i know where the last golden cog is but we'll have to do truck trouble in order to get it so let's just run to the end and do truck trouble shall we so yeah, but going, finishing off my little Nameless rant, yeah, I had Nameless way before The Last of Us. I drew her, like, when I first saw the, um, the nature documentary with David Attenborough with the ants, like, the mushroom bursting out of the ant's head, and it's like, the ants have become infected, and now the, the, the cordyceps ant has got the mushroom growing out of its head, it climbs to the highest point, and the spores get released. Where it climbs to the highest point, like, just above the colony, so that the spores drop directly into the ant hill, and then the entire colony gets fucked. So, yeah, I had to, don't Don't be saying that she was ripped off from The Last of Us. She was from the Amber documentary, which was out way before The Last of Us. So, fuck you, Last of Us. You stole the idea from Nameless. You just looked in, and it's like, oh shit. They can infect any species. There's a there's an evil there's an evil mushroom pony. Shit, we gotta we gotta make a game around that. So I'm responsible for the Last of Us. I made that game. I was like, that's that's a cool idea. It's but it's actually theoretically possible for the Last of Us to actually happen. You know, like zombies with the Z virus. Don't get me wrong. Science could easily fuck humanity and be like. We have created a virus which makes the dead come back to life because we accidentally screwed it up. And it's like, well, that wasn't very good. And science, you know, could do that because you don't know what's in a lot of chemicals. You don't know that if you can, if you combine athlobenzene with paracetamol with nitrosilatol, then you could effectively create a zombie virus. You, you don't know how science combinations would work. You could create something by accident. But... The actual fact of bringing someone back from the dead is another thing because that means that you would have to, you know, stimulate all of the electrical impulses in the brain and actually, like, make them, even though it's not, like, a full functioning brain, you would still have to make them think slightly. And for them to think, that means that they have to have some kind of, like, um... Am I stuck? There we go. But for, to make a zombie, like, think, or to make the dead think again, that means that they have some kind of level of self-awareness. Like, they know that they exist once again. I'm going to call bullshit on that. But they know that they exist once again, and so... They would be like, oh shit, I exist again, therefore I know I exist, and that kind of comes to the fact of... How can you make someone know they exist once they've already died? Because that kind of implies, while 
obviously we're not going to go down that route. That implies that you've basically dragged the soul back from the afterlife and made it come back. So that's not really that possible. Whereas with the Cordyceps, it is possible because there is a strain for every species on the planet. So it's like, oh, there's a there's a strain of Cordyceps for every species on the planet, and um, now they have they have found the human strain. And uh, don't hit that one because we will just miss with that one. And then we'll hit this one onto this guy. So you can probably guess the the gimmick here is to make the rocks fall onto the lizards. I'm fucking it up. So that hit that guy. This one will hit this guy. And then we will just start the chain again. It is, it is like slightly floaty, like when I move left and right, but it's fine. So yeah, main point, cordyceps could happen in real life. Um, because if a uh, human strain was was found, then really that missed? Oh shit, him. Please don't, don't get to it. Oh, Fucked uh, it up. Hit that. Oh, it missed him. Oh no, I let one through. One will one make a difference? Damn it. So you can't let a single one through. That's fine. Let's have another go. So what are we at? We're at 16 minutes. We only got to do two things. I think we can do two things. If not, we can always let the episode run for just a little while longer. But I'm pretty sure we can we can do this in time. Uh, so I would like the rocks to grow back faster, it'll make this job a, a whole lot easier. That one's going to be a perfect hit, this one is also going to be a perfect hit, and this one is also going to be a perfect hit. So that means that this one's going to be the one that grows back next. Ooh, will the other one grow back in time? No it didn't, but that's fine. Does the other two just not grow back at all? Yeah, they do. Okay, so then that's going to be a perfect hit. And if this one grows back fast enough, hit it. Yes, yes, just hit it. And then this should be easy, because we've just got to hit this one to this guy, and the one that grows back onto the other guy. So there's that one done. And grow back, grow back, grow back, grow back. Bang. Missed him. Okay, that's fine. This one, we'll get him. Bang. Perfect. Thanks heaps for what you did back there, Possum. <sighs> no worries. By the way, I found this at the creek. You want it? Shoot ripper! Well, I better get a move on. See you soon, possum. It's not a possum, but okay. Alright, so that's every thunder egg. Um, now... Now, 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 there should be... A... Why is there a one inside when I turn my camera there? Now, there should be a... Thing somewhere along here. I think it's at the open machine which allows us to teleport back to the start and do the time trial, which we can do really quickly, so that would that could have been that. Both of those could have been extremely bad, because I think I've only got one hit point, and I will die. So it might be prudent to just have a quick fly over to here and grab this, because it's a full pie, and it's brought us right back up to full health. You beauty. Right, so where is the teleporter back home to do this time trial race? And we will be uh, good to go. We can even stop off at Rainbow Cliffs and get the thing. I swear it's here. I know it's here! Don't lie to me! Oh, the open machine actually is just back at the start to begin with. Alright, that's cool. It's cool, that's cool, so time trial clock. Time trial clock. Uh, so yeah, we've got to race this dude, and we've got to, we've got to beat him to the Thunder Egg. So, this is a race where you've just got to, like, be extremely reactive and responsive you can't slow down we're obviously going to take the left because we know that the left is faster and we can just be like yeah fuck you we went the left way we got loads of time ahead of him so we're, we're basically it's a one runner i don't like to say it out loud because we still need more damage and we still need more hp even though we've got mom's knife polyphemus it's not a one run but i'm going to say that this one is a one run so, we'll just move along here, and I think round this corner is the end, is it not? Nope, we've got to look and dodge our way through here, and then there's like one more turning in, it's the end. Uh, so, the question is, where the hell is that last golden cog? I might actually pause the recording and see if I can find where that golden cog is. Either way, there is 49 minutes. Uh, have we really got to wait for him? There we go. I did it! Yes, we did it. Give us the last thunder egg. You won! You got lucky as all. But fair is fair. Next time I'll beat you. Oh, next time there is no shortcut, so... Yes, there is another race with this guy. But yeah, next time there is no shortcut, so that's, uh, that's...
Probably, uh, yes, you may beat me. Right, uh, game info. We've got everything bar the last golden cog. Where's the last golden cog? I don't remember. Um, buh, 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 where, where would it be? I got all the ones. Crap. I think I might have to pause it just to look for this golden cog. Because, um, I can't quite remember where it is, but it's probably in a very easy place. Is there no way to pause on the Harpage? I would like to pause just for a second. Alright, I guess I will just have to stop and restart. Alright, I will be back in a moment. Okay guys, I found it. It was just here, I thought it was. So yeah, it was, um, you see that roundish slope? Oh, hey, hello guy, hello, hello, hello. But yeah, you see like that roundish slope? Basically, you drop down where the waterfall is, like, I'll show you where to go. So there's all ten cogs, and we'll be heading off to the exit now. We will leave the episode running just a little while longer, because we will want to go to the, um, thing. Ah, oh, we can't, can't jump into that one, really. Okay, that's fine. I think there is actually a thing which will just shoot us back up to the exit, which is where we're going, because we are right next to the beginning. So you go through this cave, okay? And once we go through this cave, I will show you where this last golden cog is. So we are going backwards, but it's very easy to, to find. It's also very easy to miss, and this is why I missed it, because I was like, wait, I remember that surfy bit. But yeah, you see this waterfall? Basically, like, where you get, if we use our rescue here, you can get here from the bottom, but you see that spinning log? When you reach that spinning log to go down the waterfall surfy bit, you just drop off at the spinning log and the secret is in this cave, or the golden cog is in this cave here behind the waterfall. Or if you go in from the beginning, just like walk down this little slope, because you'll see the beginning right around this corner. So you route round and there is an arrow saying, hey, you should go up them steps. But well, no, don't go up them steps because that's not where you want to go. So, we will just quickly, it doesn't matter if we screw it up, because we want to run to the exit anyway. It matters if we fall and die, but it's fine. We want to run to the exit, and then we basically just want to run around to the, um, the house. I keep wanting to call it a lab, but it's not really a lab, it's a shack. Like, the professor, Professor Koala is self-deluded. He's like, this is my highly technical lab. No, it's a shack with one machine in it. It is not a lab. Stop lying, Professor. Stop having dreams. Stop having these self-deluded dreams. It's, 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 not a, it's not a lab. It is a lab. It is a lab. No, it's it's not, man. I'm sorry. I know, I know you want it to be a lab, but it's not. It's just got one. It's just got one boomerang machine in it. It's it's not a lab. I'm sorry you're self-deluded. So this should fire us to the end, and then we can just fire away over to Rainbow into the little boomerang shack really quickly. It did, so we are going to be going over time limit. But, you know, it's okay to keep over time limit if the level is at its end. So we'll just quickly run over here, and we'll head to the boomerang shack. Can't remember what boomerang we get first. I think it's the sniperang, which just, like, allows you to zoom in. To be able to snipe people, which can be useful in a later levels, but it's not really useful straight off the bat, because a lot of the enemies are close up and it doesn't really teach you about enemies that shoot projectiles for a while yet. But anyway, let's go back to Rainbow Cliffs and see what it is. I think, as I say, I think it's a sniper round, but we'll see. Just takes a little while to load here. There we go. So in the next episode, although we won't be we won't be doing this right now, but in the next episode we will be doing shipwrecks. So there's shipwrecks, but we won't be doing that just yet. We'll be quickly going over to here, and in the next episode we'll actually start in front of the shipwrecks portal. We won't start in the Professor's house. Either way, let's just go down to the Professor's house. It's a lab. It's not a lab. It's not. It's. I'm sorry. It's not. It's got one boomerang machine in it for now. It'll have two boomerang machines once we've got some thunder eggs and beat the first boss, but I've just got one boomerang machine in it for now, man. Don't, don't delude yourself. Rainbow scale under there, but we're not getting those till the end. Alright, Professor, that requires, really, that only requires one more thunder egg to make a new, a new boomerang? Crap. But anyway, this requires none, so, yeah, let's, let's see. Oh, my! You found enough golden cogs, haven't you? These will be perfect for my latest invention. I call it the Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Ty, it's a machine I designed 
to create cutting-edge techno rangs. Oh my! This is very nice. It's a zoomerang. The zoomerang has a built-in telescopic aimer. Press the ties view button to activate it. Use the movement stick to aim and the camera stick to zoom in and out on enemies for greater throwing accuracy. No worries. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through. Yeah, okay. So that was the tutorial because that was our first rang. But yeah, I thought it was this one. This one doesn't really help us that much. But as he said, you can move it left and right, up and down, and you can use the right analog stick, as you can see, to zoom in. So for later levels, we can we can like press down here, and we can just like snipe that guy, but he moved because he's a dick. Stand still. No, it just goes straight through him. But yeah, that's the zoomerang. We did get a rang. We did be able to, and this does kind of help for like more in the beginning levels to find things, because you might be like, oh, I'm looking around. Oh. What's that over there? Let's zoom in and let's move up a bit. Oh my gosh, it's a rainbow scale over there. That looks really interesting. We should get that, but we're not collecting all of those till the end of the game or close to the end of the game because they do unlock a bonus. I don't want to just get them all in one go, but to get them all in one go, you require pretty much all of the boomerangs in the game. So that's why we'll just be picking up all 20 of them right at the end. So yes, that was uh, that was the next part of Ty. That was a great episode. We completed Walk in the Park. We got our first Techno Rang, and after we've done Shipwrecks and got 10 more Golden Cogs, we'll be able to get our second Techno Rang, along with our first Elemental Rang. So, got lots of good stuff going to be happening in the next few episodes. So thank you all for watching this part of Let's Play Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see all of you